Welcome to Franchise Focus. I'm your host, Lisa Linkowski. I am a certified franchise consultant representing hundreds of franchise concepts across many, many industries. And Franchise Focus is all about interviewing people in the expert, with expertise in the franchise world. And I'm very, very delighted to have with me today, Michelle Perchuk, who is the president owner of MTV Coaching. She is a career and business program coach. Michelle, so nice to meet with you today. And how are things in your side of North Jersey? Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here with you today. Uh, everything is great in uh, North Jersey. Very, very busy. Uh, a lot of business owners need help. So you could imagine that MTV is super, super busy. So tell us about MTV Coaching. What is it exactly? Okay. MTV Coaching is a career and a business progression coaching firm. I'm the founder and I'm the head coach and I have collaborated with other coaches to help me manage engagements. What we do most of the time is we help business owners navigate through all the changes in the landscape today with the pandemic with changes in um you know client bases and people working from home there's a lot of um there's a lot of new things new factors that business owners need to adapt to and this is where we come in <clears throat> we take we de-stress the business owner we show them that it could be done more efficiently and they could be more effective I personally was a small business owner for nine years of my life. I owned a recruiting firm, so I know exactly how it feels to make payroll, to pay health insurance, and all that jazz. So that's why our success rate is so high with our clients, specifically franchise owners. And that's one of the things that I wanted to mention is that this is a show all about franchising, and you are married to someone who owns not one, but I believe multiple franchises. Tell me about that, Michelle. Yes, so our family made a decision uh, more than 10 years ago to enter the franchise business. And my husband, who is a licensed pharmacist, is an owner of Planet Fitness in several regions. And that has been quite a roller coaster ride with him. But I will tell you one thing that he has never been around more happier people, professionals from all walks of life that enter the franchise business and they are smiling, they're sharing their success with each other. He always comes back, back from the conventions full of energy and being quite a happy camper. So this has really been a fantastic opportunity for our family. For me as a business coach, it allowed me to really manage a lot of the pitfalls that he has been through as a business owner. Owning a franchise is a family decision. And, um, you know, when you're converting from being an executive or from one opportunity into being a franchise owner, there are a lot of things that come out of the woodwork. And that's where my coaching background really has benefited uh, our family and my husband who deals uh, with Planet Fitness on a daily basis. Right, so it's like a nice symbiotic relationship for the two of you, yes. because while yes. he's running around on fire, you get to sit there and help to put out the flames and get him centered and focused for what the next thing is and how to get to the next area of growth and achievement within his business plan. Yes, absolutely. And I've also learned, it's been a huge learning curve for me, where I learned how that specific franchise how it operates and how other franchise uh, brands operate. And that has been uh, an amazing wealth of knowledge that I have been able to pass down to my clients. I work with people who are interested in career or business progression. And many of my clients today are seasoned executives that have decided to take a package and over the pandemic decided that they really want to do what their passion is. And that's where me coaching them through that, through shedding their executive corporate um, image and becoming more of a business owner comes in. 
the fact that I have this um, small business ownership experience, the coaching experience, and being part of a family that owns a franchise is really a very unique combination. It truly is, and it gives so much uh, breadth to what it is that you're doing. Like you said, you get to learn and glean from these franchises, which are all very different. You know, they may operate very much the same, and they may have the same type of system with, you know, making sure that they have an exact documentation, like the uh, franchise disclosure document, and item 19, and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But then from there, it goes back to, holy, holy cow, I have to figure out how to turn on the lights and get people to come into my business and to grow my business and have revenue coming in. And so yes. tell me about that. Well, it's always good to have a wingman, and I'm always that wingman. So franchise owners or people who are thinking about owning franchises should really make an investment or should start thinking about working with a business coach because and it doesn't have to be me, it could be another business coach, but it is a worthwhile investment because a business coach keeps you accountable to yourself on target and gives you an opportunity to really hash things out on a weekly basis, on a bi-weekly basis. And I have seen people change the way that they uh, approach business, the way that they view a client, the way that they manage conflict. You know, in business, there's a lot of that, especially when you're a small business owner. And if you're going from being an executive into a small business uh, ownership situation, things are very different. Things are not done for you. You don't have corporate to call. You got to do everything yourself. And many people don't adjust to that change very well. And that's where a business coach would come in and really, um, really reveal that to them and, and, and ask, how do you feel emotionally about that? Because it's a very big commitment to own a franchise for an individual or for a family. And you certainly don't want things to go bad because you can't handle it. Great so point. business coach helps you hash through those things and de-stresses your ownership, day-to-day -day operations, and life. Right. And it, it, you just hit upon something that's so important that, you, well, so many things, Michelle, that you hit upon. But when you're talking about someone who's a C-suite executive, where they not only had the support of corporate, but they had a whole level of support around them you know, administrative staff and, you know, various management, you know, everyone is there to help them to make sure that that company is running the best that it can. And when you go to that small business owner mindset, it is a totally different thing. And they probably haven't felt that way from way back in the start of their very beginning of their career when they were plucked in and they didn't know what the heck they were doing, right? Because back then when you're at the lower level and you, you're just kind of swimming around on your own, it's a big adjustment. You're absolutely right. Yes. And I chuckle with a lot of my seasoned executive clients because I personally come from a management consulting background and up until 2009, that's what I did. So I had a support team of 18 people and I went from doing that into sitting in a room with me and my business partner looking at each other and we're like, oh, we're cutting the checks, we're doing this, we're doing that. We can't afford an admin. I'll tell you, that was the most humbling and the most powerful uh, experience I ever had. 2009, after the uh, mortgage crisis, me leaving my position in management consulting and opening up my own recruiting firm and really growing it to a nice size firm and then selling it to a friendly competitor back in 2017. Many of my seasoned professionals, executives, really relate to that. So when I bring up certain scenarios, they're like, wow, it's amazing that you actually get what I'm saying. So let me just bring it back for a moment and tell me about, you know, you, you as a family, you own these Planet Fitness franchises. Can you give some, in, some examples for the audience as to how you were able to help and adjust some of the areas of um, concern 
for, for your husband, for his business. Do you, are there any that stick out that you can kind of walk us through? Absolutely. Well, number one, it's a humongous time commitment. And someone that is um, going from a life of being an executive with a lot of support, owning a franchise, you're on 24-7. So actually lining up the family situation with children, with senior care, really needs to be spoken about up front because one person is going to be on 24-7, depending on what the line of business is for the fan franchise and has to be available to take evening calls because you're dealing with employees, to go to conferences, and really to be completely dedicated to this business for easily 18 months to more than two years. So it has, it has to be a true partnership between the spouses. You have that absolutely right. And when I talk with my candidates, I always make sure to have the partners both involved for that very reason, because it does affect the partner. It, it just, there's just no way that it doesn't, and they need to be on board, and they've got to be able to offer and throw that support. So what are, if you, is there one specific area that you remember in those early days that as a coach of coaching with your husband and helping him, Take aside, you know, break apart that piece of being the spouse and where your coaching really helped to steer him in the right direction. Or maybe it could have been six months ago or a year ago. We don't have to go back 10 years. Well, not only did I have to do coaching on him, I also had to go do coaching on myself and do a lot of reflective work because owning a franchise is also a humongous financial responsibility. It's not like you're opening up a hot dog stand and if things don't work out, the equipment goes and that's it. You're part of a large machine that um, is requiring for you to be financially responsible for something very big. So owning a franchise, different franchises have different buy-in amounts, royalties, but then depending on the line of business you're in, you may have to sign personally for real estate. So this is where we needed to really actually coach each other, but I had to do a lot of reflective work myself because I needed to keep looking at it as a positive opportunity and really not allow the negative dialogue of what if it doesn't work out enter my mind. Excellent. So you had to do that not only for yourself, but also for your husband so Correct. that you have this nice, strong, you know, uh, ship that's going and, and, and steering course and making sure that it's going to surge ahead. And we're going to take a quick break, Michelle, and we'll come back on the other side. But first, we're going to hear a word from our sponsors. Welcome back to Franchise Focus. I'm your host, Lisa Linkowski, and I'm very happy to have back with me Michelle Perchek, who is a business coach and business coach for those that are looking to, they're in career transition and possibly looking into business ownership. And she's also done a lot of coaching within the franchise world. Michelle, I'd like to talk to you about 
one of the things that business owners do because it's a brand new thing and they've got so much money that's just pouring out of them right before the break you talked about personal guarantees and you know commercial real estate and you just feel like the duct has opened and the water is just pouring out so when someone comes knocking on a brand new business owner's door and says hi i'm a business coach and i think that you really could utilize my services their first response is going to be i can't afford that that's not something that i can even think about right now how do you get around that and what is it that you see well the good news is my services don't co don't cost hundreds and thousands of dollars it's affordable uh, that's the good news and we have many programs and we really really work with people we understand that different situations um, different people are in different situations but the best way is for me to give an example of health care and prevention so if you know that you're in a high-risk group for example you have high blood pressure in your family does it make sense to invest in an exercise routine supplements and a good diet early on which may cost a couple of hundred dollars uh, a month then suffer from a heart attack and bear the catastrophic results in, in your family two to three years later so this is the best example of how i really uh, throw a glass of cold water in someone's face by really shocking them and giving them this example because an ounce of prevention early on can really help you run a flourishing business. And I know this from my own personal example. I could have really saved myself a lot of emotional distress, financial hardship in my own recruiting business if I had been fortunate enough to be introduced to a business coach. I had my blinders on. Honestly, I had no idea such a thing existed. Well, those and are if I had a business coach that I would have started working with day one, they would have asked me questions like, what is your purpose? Why are you here? Why are you in this business? What impact do you want to create? What does this mean for you? And what legacy do you want to create? Those questions would have opened up my mind and I wouldn't have made the mistakes that I made. All and I'm points. talking about mistakes that were worth hundreds and thousands of dollars. Honestly, if I had a business coach, probably halfway into owning my business, I would have bought out my business partner. And I didn't do that because I didn't have the mentorship. I didn't have the guidance from um, a business coach that could advise me, it could allow me to hash things out for myself. Right. I also didn't have anyone to put together a strategy with. Every day was reinventing the wheel. And honestly, that is no way to run a business. The minute that you open up the doors, you need to have a business plan, year one, year two, year three. And it has to be a full-fledged business plan that you're going to be accountable for. So very true, Michelle, and it's a really serious undertaking, and it's not something that people should go into lightly. I tell my candidates that I give them the, the scared straight version of business ownership because it's sometimes what they need to hear because often it seems very glamorous and they come into it very dewy eyed and I throw what you just said, that glass of uh, cold water and go, Ksh! think again, it's really, really hard. And it's gonna be one of the hardest things that you've ever done in your life. So if you have that person that's standing by your side that can help you to guide and make sure that you're not going off a cliff and to keep you, you know, keep your momentum going, keep your spirits up, keep you um, on time and on goal with your business plan and ask yourself hard questions. Often, you know, the person that has that, that business that they've created from scratch, they very often, I just met someone last night, they have no exit strategy. They're not thinking anything about it because you're working in it all day long, every day, and you don't have time to think about that. And luckily with a franchise, they give you that exit strategy in the fact that there is a, a time agreement. And that time agreement is, you know, could be up to 10 years, which by the way is longer than some marriages. And so they give that opportunity to you. 
But what happens if you don't have that and you are creating this business and it's and it, and you're just going into it and you now it's eight years later and it's and it's maybe you're not enjoying it anymore and you just don't even have any idea what you're supposed to do. So what happens? Someone just closes it and they don't even realize that they could have either given it off to someone else or sold it or you know had something and so you're there that whole time to guide them through this whole process absolutely absolutely I had people I have clients who started working with me with my minimal 12-week uh, uh, engagement and that 12-week engagement turned into a year engagement on retainer and ultimately their success they attest to the coaching journey because they have an outlet it's not like I tell clients what to do I take off my coaching hat very often and give them examples from my own experience but I ask people tough questions and people are business owners are actually uh, stuck they can't answer it but that opens up a thought process for them, a thought process which is very important when you're a business owner. Right. And to look deeper and continue to look deeper and, you know, why did you make that decision and, and would you have done that decision over again and, and then how would you do it differently and whatever it is that's coming across them because often there are fires that are needing to be put out, you're it, you're the only person. And so when that happens day in and day out, it's like a machine, you know, like yes. what you were saying about your husband early on with his, with his opening of his franchise, it's 24 hours a day. You go yes. to bed thinking about it. You wake up thinking about it. You just, it's all day long ingrained in your, in your thoughts and in your, in your, in your veins. And so you can't see too much further past that because you're just so in it every single day. And so working with someone like you has tremendous advantage. Let me ask you this, Michelle, MTV, I'm of that culture of 40 years ago. It just uh, had launched. What is the significance of your name of your company? Well, actually, my kids came up with it because my Instagram handle used to be Michelle the Visionary. That's when I wrote my book about recruiting, and that's what we came up with at that time. But when I became a full-fledged business and um, really have quite a following on Instagram, my social media uh, people advised me, we need to go with your name, brand your name, and we, we need to move the Michelle, uh, Michelle Divisionary out. And that's how MTV Coaching was born. We just took the, uh, the first uh, letters from that, and I realized I had a very unique opportunity to relate to people with the MTV, and that's how it stuck. Brilliant. So glad that I asked that. I love that. Michelle the Visionary. Yeah. That's excellent. Yeah. So let yeah. me ask you this. So we know that you're in North Jersey, but clearly you're working across the country. Now with all of this wonderful technology, we're not, you know, just locked into our regions. But do you prefer to work with people in person or it does not matter? Well, I always prefer to work in person because um, the relationship building is so much easier. Um, emotions are uh, captured a lot easier when you're sitting across from someone and not over Zoom. But I have been able to adapt very quickly. And as a matter of fact, I've been able to spread my wings across the country and across the globe. And I have clients now going as far out as Moscow and um, Hyderabad, India. Wow. Doing Global. that in person would not be possible. No, it would not so, be. So you And for busy professionals, meeting in person is very time consuming. Yeah. And I realize that when you're in a new business, meeting with a coach twice a month or three times a month could be, you know, quite significant because you, there's traveling time or I would have to travel to them and I would have to bill them. It's so much easier to wrap up the day from your desk to meet with me. Wonderful. And you have a, um, a workshop that you've just developed recently. Do you want to talk to us about that? Yes, absolutely. So um, it's an e-course. It's called the Da Vinci Career Coach. And it's a nine module course that takes the audience through nine lives of famous artists. And it inspires people how to improve in their career search 
in their current career and in their business. So I call it um, infotainment. You're entertained. You're listening to all of these anecdotes about Picasso, Andy Warhol, but yet you are learning things that you could apply to your life today. And it's so entertaining and so colorful that some of the tips and, and uh, uh, industry secrets that I share with you, you'll never forget. That is excellent. And you sat there and correlated it into artistry, which is really interesting. And Michelle, our time is up. This has been wonderful. I thank you so much for sharing all about your business and your background and how you've come to this point and wish you continued success in this world. And we have your contact information that is going to be displayed for the... so much for being a part of this program. I am Lisa Linkowski and I am the owner of Milestone Franchising. You can find out more about me at milestonefranchising.com and you can watch this show every Friday at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Thank you Lisa.